Last week I attended Change Masters uh, event and under 45 uh, summit for entrepreneurs and after my session there were a lot of people who reached out to me asking this question that Sarika we are in the business for last 20 years 30 years and we have a lot of data which is available but how do we get started with an AI solution so I answered them but uh, then I thought why not my viewers also get benefited out of it so today's video is on the same topic business opportunities with AI and foremost thing that every business person should be clear of is what is the purpose or what is the problem that he or she is trying to solve once you are clear even if it is at a generic level it makes a lot of difference after that generic statement try to refine it further and try to connect it with the KPI movement that you are looking for and also um, come up with a uh, uh, optimum uh, accuracy that you are expecting from this uh, model on which you can sign off for once this part is uh, clear then you can move on to the next stages because uh, and end of the day AI solution is a technology and it is working on your business you know your business very well and you know what are you expecting out of uh, this AI and uh, it makes a clear business sense. So it's very important for us to know the purpose. Now comes the million dollar question. How do I identify AI opportunities in uh, my business? So in that case, let me give you four tips. So the first thing you should look for if there is any application that you can look in the area of computer vision. So if your business involves handling of image data, like for example, if you're using satellite images and if you want to eliminate noise from it or you want to classify those images into ABC category, or uh, in case uh, your data involves a streaming of CCTV camera and there are processes uh, behind it. So then uh, in that uh, area you can definitely use computer vision application. Another one, uh, second one is uh, natural language processing. So if your business involves a lot of documentation and you want to classify uh, these text or maybe go through this uh, text and basis some clauses if you want to come arrive to a decision point, then uh, in that case you can use uh, natural language processing. Another one uh, under this is your chatbot. So application of chatbot is another area where you can look. In, uh, in such cases, even the speech recognition, speech generation, these are another areas uh, which NLP can help you very well. Next one is next in sequence application. So if there is a process and you want to predict what will happen next, so in that case, uh, we can use so all your prediction of sales, forecasting of your supply and demand trends, etc. So in that case, you can use uh, um, this next in sequence uh, application. And last one is uh, if you are someone who is operating uh, online, so you are uh, uh, having an e-commerce uh, websites and um, you get a lot of data through it. So in that case, you can definitely use collaborative filters, which is nothing but your recommendation system that you should use to get all the analytics and accordingly uh, flourish your business. Remember, data is at the core of any AI solution deployment. So as a data scientist, the first and foremost thing that uh, he would do is he will clean your data, prepare it to be used for an AI model. So first of all, this step is called as exploratory data analysis. Moving a step ahead, he might also have to do feature engineering, which means that whatever columns and rows that you have, he will create additional columns using some uh, equation and uh, using feature engineering. For example, if there is a date stamp which is available uh, in your data, then he can transform that column into day of the week if it makes sense uh, 
and easier for model to uh, use it. Another thing is uh, he might not restrict just on or rely only on the data which is available um, or provided by you, but uh, he will also seek data from open source and data like your weather forecast or credit card so scoring or any other data which is readily available. With combination, he will try to uh, use that data uh, for the model. He will train the model, he will test the model and at the end he will evaluate. But after evaluation, it's you who would decide on a go, no go. So as I mentioned right at the start that you need to be very clear what is the output and what is the accuracy level that you are looking out of this model and basis that you will give a sign off. Hope you liked this video and if you did, please subscribe. With that, me Sarika Hussain signing off for today. Have a good day.